We are five days away from fundamentally transforming the United States of America. The left, in the words of Barack Obama, want to fundamentally transform the United States of America. I don't. I want to improve the United States of America. I think Donald Trump's one of the worst things to happen to this country. When he was elected, I cried. I think he's a racist. Yeah, Trump is real. I think he's a crazy bugger. I go, oh my my, what, this is going to be a problem today. So he cusses when he gets mad. He says things that are brutally honest. This is ridiculous. I don't think he's a typical politician at all. He's I think a dangerous world. We the need world to be secure. Peace. I love America and I think that he does too. I cannot forgive him. Oh, he said something wrong. It hurt somebody's feelings. Well, let's get real here. The New World Order is the dream of globalists to have a one world government. Essentially to control the entire planet. And they're ruling everybody. Nations will give their allegiance to a political leader that will arise. The rise of the Antichrist. That dark hour is surely around the corner. The U.S. should never cede its sovereignty. The end time world government of the Antichrist will be a socialistic one world governing body. Margaret Thatcher is famous for saying the problem with socialism is that sooner or later you run out of other people's money. Socialism is thievery. Government controls the economy. It doesn't work. Control, control, control. This is not freedom. This is not freedom at all. When he leaned forward. He said they killed all of them. I'm talking about the enemies of America from within. The radical left who wants to transform the United States. If we see socialism achieving its goals in America, then America will no longer be great. One of the great perplexing questions in Bible prophecy is, where is America? As I read the scripture, it appears that there's no place for America in the prophetic scriptures. This is the history of our planet, and the United States is just a blip on the radar screen. Many people have said that the United States is not in the prophecies of the Bible. America is so exceptional that people who even hate our guts all want to come here. As much as they hate us, they want to immigrate to the United States. We have to stop illegal immigration, not just to protect our country, but to protect the immigrants who want to come in here. A nation that doesn't define its territories puts at risk its sovereignty. Build a wall, be it physical, uh, be it virtual, infrared satellite imaging, whatever it takes, build a wall. The United States will not be part of the world governing body. Guess what's happening right now? The whole world is against Israel. When God says the nations who bless Israel will be blessed and the nations who curse Israel will be cursed, we either believe that or we don't. For 20 years, our Congress, our presidents have talked about moving our embassy to Jerusalem. That's called leadership. It's like when Reagan said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. America stands with Israel. It's either in her body or her body. If it's her body, then it's the equivalent of a pimple. So, you can just kill a child for any reason? If we have President Democrat, well, we see what they want infanticide. How can we judge anybody when we legally will kill a baby? Look at this, you're killing babies in New York and then you're killing babies in Virginia. No one has an issue with women removing pimples. Well, first of all, we're all flawed. We're all sinners. We don't elect a pastor to lead the country. The Messiah will not arrive on Air Force One. It's not going to happen. So many times I have other Christians challenge me and say, how could God use an ungodly person like Donald Trump? And I say, well, he's using you, isn't he? 